my earnings in the Amazon Influencer Program in the past month have been higher than all of the other months combined. I'm gonna break down those results and I'm gonna be giving you a few bonus tips throughout the video, so make sure you stick around to the end. So welcome back to my channel. As you know, I've been sharing my progress with you since July of my journey in the Amazon Influencer Program. And my goal is to be very transparent with you about all of this stuff to show you what's actually possible. So we've talked about partnerships and bonuses and the, the affiliate program and the influencer program and different stuff like that. And I want to be truthful with all of this information because I know that YouTube is full of a lot of these people that just list side hustles off, but they've never actually done them or they're giving fake blown up numbers. So I wanna be someone that can give you a real side hustle that actually works because in today's economy, everybody could use some extra money laying around, especially at the holiday times. And we are now in December, so you know what that means. We have November numbers to cover. And like I told y'all in the last video, the best time possible to join is right now. And let me tell you, I was right because my numbers for November skyrocketed and you are missing out on an easy opportunity if you haven't joined yet. If you're interested in joining, I have a free Amazon Influencer Beginner Guide in the description. It doesn't cost you anything, it's completely free. So make sure you check that out. Now it's time to jump into November's numbers, but before we do that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so we can push it out to more people and so I'm not sitting here wasting my time making these videos. But now we've got all that out of the way, let's jump into November's numbers. Okay, so like I said last month, I keep refining this chart to find out you know, what is really important to y'all in these categories, what doesn't matter at all. And so I take things out, I add things. And so if you want to know something that's not in this chart or there's something that you don't like, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, the other thing is I stopped giving exact numbers because Amazon's kind of sketchy about giving exacts. So I gave the general area for the general estimates of what my numbers are. That's why you see a lot of them are rounded off because I wanna keep helping y'all, but I don't wanna get in trouble. And in the last video, I showed y'all that I had my biggest month ever in October. And that was $320 in influencer earnings and then $10 in the affiliate. And then I got a $300 product for free from a brand that I was working with. So we had 30 days in the month of November we added 19 more videos. And like I've told y'all, I don't know how many times, I am not living up to my full potential with this program. There are people that are adding a ton of videos every day. I think that they have quality issues. So I put a lot of time and effort into my videos, which takes time. And I'm also renovating our 70 year old house. So I've got a lot going on on top of regular work and stuff like that. But the numbers that I show, you could get those easy. Like, like I said, I only did 19 videos this past month. I should be doing like at least two a day. Uh, so you can do better than me. So that brings my total videos on the program to 87, but we're about to get into the real numbers here and it is gonna start blowing your mind how much this jumped up in the past month. For clicks for November, we went from 1,700 up to 7,030. So that is almost a 4X jump in clicks, which is crazy. And the name of the game is the more clicks you get, hopefully the more sales you get. So let's go ahead and go continue with November's crazy numbers. We went from one sale in July, 120, 125, 160 in October was our highest ever to November, 545 sales. So another massive jump. This is crazy that it could jump up this much. So then the conversion was between seven and a half and eight percent and so there's an explanation for that it's a little bit lower than normal as you can see it's kind of my lowest since my first month so why is that number lower this month well there's two reasons number one is the more views and clicks that you get the harder it is to keep your conversion higher but also i've switched into also testing out the vertical videos primarily the videos that you see on the product pages or horizontal and they're a more long form type of video uh, 30 seconds plus but amazon has a tab on their app it's called inspire and what that is is kind of their version of social media like a TikTok style and what they show on that tab is more the vertical videos that are shorter and so that is where you tag multiple products and so what happens with those is if you end up on the inspire page you get more views on those typically than you do the horizontal videos but the conversion rate's not as high because you're dealing with a different type of consumer, the ones that want just quick 
attention. So people do still purchase through that, but just not as many compared to the horizontal, but you get more views in the horizontal. The vertical videos can show up on the product pages too. It's just primarily you're gonna see more horizontal videos there. So that's an explanation of why the conversion is a little bit lower than the previous month. So this next number, monthly revenue, is probably gonna make you sick to your stomach. And monthly revenue is not what I make as the creator. That is the total revenue from the sales. If you had, you know, every product was $10 and you sold 100 of them, then that would be $1,000 in revenue. So this is crazy. So you got $30 in revenue in July, 8,800, 9,000, 12,600. And then in November, the revenue was $49,000. So my videos led to $49,000 in sales, which is just mind blowing. Um, I'd really love to be on the end of that. That would be, that would be nice to be on the, the revenue side, but it's not how it works. That's what the brands made total before their expenses and, and the commissions and stuff like that. And so now we need to get into what you're here for, which is the earnings. I've been telling y'all to get in. Some of you've listened to me, some of you haven't, but the earnings we had, October was our highest month yet at $320. And for the month of November, so 30 days, the amount of commissions that I made from the Amazon Influencer Program is $1,185. That is just mind-blowing. That pays a car payment, that pays a phone bill, that pays a lot of stuff. That is a almost 4x jump in commissions from October to November. Now we're gonna go to the affiliate side. The affiliate program is like if you click on a link on YouTube and it takes you to Amazon, you buy a product. That's the affiliate side. So it's significantly harder to get earnings through that because you're having to bring your own traffic over. November was actually $25 in affiliate commissions there, which is still good. I'm not complaining about $25 from that side either, but I just wanna set your expectations for that side because it's not gonna be as high, especially from the beginning. So now before we go on to bonuses and partnerships, let's look at my total year to date earnings just from the influencer and affiliate side. So if you add all these together, since July, I've made $2,054. And that's really just August through November. July, I just gotten started at the end of the month, which that right there pays for a lot of people's vacations or bills or whatever you want to pay for. Even if it wiped out a whole month of bills for you, that would be a huge help. And now let's talk about the bonuses and partnerships real quick. With the bonuses, I had the $50 bonus in September uh, from Amazon and for this month, there was not any bonuses. Like I told you before, with bonuses, it's Amazon decides who gets them, when they get them, what the bonuses are. So there hasn't been any besides September. What I get more excited about than really a lot of different things in this program is the brand partnerships. In October, I got a product that I had really been wanting, but didn't want to spend the money on it because it's a $300 product. Now I got it for free just because I do videos, plus I get to make commissions off of them when they sell. So November, uh, as far as partnerships goes, I had really two partnerships, but I'm only gonna count one because one I just finished posting the videos and stuff for, so I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna put that for December. But I took one partnership and it was a $279 product, so very nice, very expensive product, and they paid me $100 on top of that to do the video. Uh, and there may be Another partnership that I'm forgetting. I'm wanting, I feel like I'm forgetting one, but I'll throw that in later if so. So that is my numbers for partnerships. So as you can see, November was wild. I knew for the holidays, commission stuff would go up, but I did not expect it to jump from $300 up to $1,200. If you don't get into the program in time to capitalize on this holiday's commissions, it's okay because you need to be stacking up videos to get in on prime days and the next holidays and stuff like that. And then just the commissions throughout the year. You can make those as high as what these holiday numbers are easy. If you just jump in on it and actually put videos out there, don't be like me and get sidetracked with working on the house and everything else. But now as a thank you for those of you that stuck around this far, I have bonus tips for y'all, like I said at the beginning of the video. Bonus tip number one is I wanna talk about the way you look at your commissions. There are people talking about this program online and they have made a lot of money in the program. And when they talk about certain dollar amounts, they are kind of insensitive to what's a good amount and what's not. And the quickest way for you to get burnt out on this stuff and not wanna make videos and stuff is to look at a certain number and go, oh, that's not good enough. 
So like, you know, my first few months, you see $200 a month, $300 a month, stuff like that. And so you'll look at someone that's making $5,000 a month and you go, okay, mine's not any good because they're making this much. No, like making $100 a month in this program, that knocks out one of your bills, whether that be a phone bill or car insurance or whatever it is. And the name of the game with these side hustles is to slowly start taking out your bills until you've added up and eventually you've paid all of your bills. And so then any income you make on top of that is now bonus. So do not get distracted by these people that act like certain numbers aren't good enough. The best example that I can come up with to make that make sense would be like equating it to a diet. The reason why a lot of people get on diets and then quit early on is because they didn't lose 50 pounds from the jump. They may have lost five or 10 pounds and, and that's not good enough or fast enough. Uh, so they're wanting this big reward immediately and it doesn't come and they get burnt out on the diet. Same thing with this. These lower commissions are gonna start stacking up. You just have to stick to it and be consistent. So that's bonus tip number one. Bonus tip number two is to continue to test out both horizontal and vertical videos. If you're doing just horizontal, you're limiting yourself. If you're doing just vertical, you're limiting yourself. The vertical video needs to be quicker and to the point like a TikTok style video. I prefer to do under 30 seconds. And then horizontal, I really prefer to be one minute plus, and that's giving more detail because that is gonna show up more often on the product pages where someone is about to purchase and they need answers to their questions about this product. So that way, hopefully I'm getting people on the product pages and I'm showing up on Inspire to get the consumers that are only over there. So that's number two. Bonus tip number three, and I'm gonna be really quick about it, is about your brand partnerships. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions about how they contact you. They contact you through email and your social media. Amazon doesn't want you putting your email, but they do let you link to social media. So do that, and then on those social media pages, have a way for people to get you, get a hold of you through email, because that's the easiest for them. And the biggest thing I wanna say is do not sell yourself short. A lot of people take these products and do videos for free, just in exchange for free products. If you just want free products, go ahead. But you can get paid to do these videos. You just have to know your value. I have some products that are more expensive that I really wanted or that I knew I could turn around and immediately sell. And so I did those videos for free in exchange for the product. All the other ones that are lower price products or I didn't really need to begin with or whatever, I'm not doing those unless you pay me. And you have to decide whatever you feel like it's worth for you to do a video. These videos take time getting everything set up. So whether you think it's worth $10, 25, 50, 100, you need to determine how much that video is worth to you because your video is gonna stay on that platform and it's gonna generate sales for this brand and they're gonna make money off of it. And if you establish yourself as a quality creator that puts out good videos, these brands are going to appreciate that and be willing to pay you before they'd be willing to pay someone that just has a dirty setup and the audio is bad and everything else. So don't be afraid to turn someone down that isn't willing to pay. Because once you tell one of these brands that you'll take it for free, they're gonna be expecting it for free anytime they send you stuff. And sometimes it's really cool stuff and you may just get, wanna do it for free. You're still gonna make the commissions off of it if they sell on the platform, no matter what. But I've drugged this video out long enough today. Those are my three bonus tips for those of you that stuck around. Don't forget, I do have a free Amazon Influencer Beginner Guide in the description if you're wanting to know how to get into this and there's some little tips in there for you, but it's completely free. So make sure you check that out. And at the very least, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it provided some value for you and I'll see y'all next time.